everyone. I uh, ended up, uh, if you saw the video from yesterday, coming in after dark last night and ended up with a great campsite for coming in after dark. Let me show you around a little bit. So, it's off of a forestry service road here. We got a little fire pit and then the campsite is pretty open and manicured. There's a few trails that go off. There's one there. That's actually a trail that goes off there. But uh, for coming in in the dark, it looks almost looks like it's mowed, but it's moss um, down low. We didn't do a lot of frills or set up last night, just hung out, did end up uh, doing a good to go meal uh, from that company up in Maine. Got the table out, mostly just to get it out of the way and things. I'm gonna make some coffee this morning, maybe some oatmeal, and uh, and I got a conference call coming up, and then uh, from there we'll probably uh, get back up on the road make some distance toward Maine, so come along for the ride. So, trying out some coffee from a new company, and uh, I'm liking it so far. It's uh, Black Rifle Coffee Company. Switched to it because it's a, uh, a veteran-founded company. And I've had a bag of their ground coffee so far uh, that I made in the French press. And I've had a bag of their instant. If you watch the channel much, you know that I'm a big, big fan of the instant just simply because of ease of operation. And uh, it's pretty good coffee. The uh, The ground coffee was very strong, uh, which was nice. Um, it made it the French press. And then the instant coffee is, uh, rinse this out just a second. Uh, the instant coffee's good. It's a uh, little, um, uh, it's mild compared to their bag coffee. Bag coffee is very strong. They have some very funny commercials on YouTube, by the way. If you haven't seen them, Black Rifle Coffee Company commercials. And uh, I'm liking it so far. Plus, I'm liking the fact that, uh, that I can support a veteran-founded company. So, check them out. It, uh, it's got a little bit different taste than like a Starbucks instant. Uh, it's a little bit, like I said, a little bit more mild, but... Uh, Good. So we're going to have a cup of coffee, walk around. I'm not really hungry yet, so we may wait till later and eat a granola bar or something. Walk around a little bit, wait for that call, um, and then go from there. Scott's over here doing his thing. You need some food and water? Probably so, huh? You want breakfast? All right, we'll get you breakfast. Dog has drank more water in the last... Eight hours, it's like a horse. Notice the little open spot or trail over here. I'll take a quick peek and see where it goes. See if it's another campsite or what, or if it's an actual trail. Lots of acorn cuttings squirrel and deer and everything else. Now this may be an actual trail. I wonder if this is the Appalachian Trail. Oh no. It's dead end in here. Huh. Well that's a very distinctive trail to come down and then for the most part just stop 
I was thinking for a second that maybe the Appalachian Trail crossed through here. So we're kind of following the Appalachian Trail up the East Coast. But uh, I don't think that's the case. No. Anyway, George Washington National Forest. It's Mr. Scout. And we came in this for this road last night. He said, on I Overlander they had it labeled a four-wheel drive road, but uh, I'm pretty sure I could drive about any car that you wanted up this road because it's not bad at all. Maybe it's a little different if it's muddy, but clearance is not a problem on it. Traction's not a problem, at least when it's dry, so. We're gonna hang out, have some coffee, talk to you in a bit. Alright, Scott and I are all packed up here. We're going to get back on the road. We'll shoot some of those farmhouses and that little colonial village and churches and stuff on the way out. Um, just doing my walk around here on the truck and uh, making sure that I've got all my stuff. Got the uh, in reach out here because I had it out last night sending some satellite messages. And I believe we're all packed up and ready to roll. So let's uh, let's get to it. Washington National Forest. He just likes to sleep. town a little house over there looks like this might be the old general store cool old house there another old house Beautiful old church. They haven't established on it. Nope, it's been there a while. This house is made out of stone. Really cool little town. Bet this was the old bank at one time, just by the looks of it, maybe. Apparently this is Mount Solon, S-O-L-O-N, Virginia. I have to look up the history on it. It's a nice old house there. Got uh, double chimneys. A little white picket bridge. Beautiful front lawn too. barn and grain silo. 
lot of uh, there's some cattle there, but a lot of uh, corn farming right here in this area. So pretty cool, kind of colonial part of Virginia. She's crossing over here into southern Pennsylvania. saw you in West Virginia um, so hi sorry I missed you um, email me your address and I'll send you some patches and stickers very cool that you uh, you saw me recognize the truck and uh, and posted the comment there that uh, that's super cool makes me super happy um, anyway so I just wanted to say hi see that on the GoPro there starting to get a little color in the trees as I get further and further north definitely starting to see the uh, the fall foliage start to pop which is uh, pretty awesome is what we were hoping for uh, we're probably looking at a pretty late night tonight um, showing an 827 arrival up into Vermont and I don't know how far we're gonna push into Vermont we may just kind of find a nice spot in the Green Mountains and uh, camp there uh, kind of play it by ear it's a little fluid is not real sure what he wants to do. He hasn't decided yet, so I'll let you know when he does. All right, long day driving, but I've uh, made it into Vermont, and I got two spots on the Garmin Overlander uh, from iOverlander, identified dispersed camping spots off, off of different forestry service roads. So I think I'm about 20 minutes away from the first. It worked out really well last night. Let's see how it works out tonight. You're kind of rolling the dice when you get to a campsite after dark, but uh, we'll see. Scouts back there just chilling like a villain. Uh, we had a little stop and walk and gassed up to the truck a few hours ago. So I think we're both ready to get out of the truck for a bit, but it's about 59 degrees outside, so definitely starting to feel like fall. Um, we'll see how we end up on campsites. If it's uh, worth a darn, I will definitely show you around. So hang in there with us for just a bit, and we'll see what uh, we end up with uh, camp. Hopefully uh, toss out a chair, maybe have a cold one. any wood around maybe have a fire maybe too tired for that i get sleeping a little bit tomorrow morning no early conference calls so that's always a plus all right see you in a bit all right scott and i are rolling in here to the green mountain national forest can't tell much about it on the gopro uh to a dispersed camping site that we found on i overlander so we're gonna check it out and see what that's like I've camped here in the Green Mountain Forest uh, before, 2016, uh, for quite a while actually during 2016, and uh, really enjoyed the Green Mountain Forest here in Vermont, so hopefully uh, we end up with a good spot tonight uh, that warrants kind of sleeping in and being a little lazy tomorrow morning, we'll see, so stay tuned. Alright, we're getting camp set up here in the Green Mountain National Forest. 
Um, we didn't get the exact spot that was on Overlander. We got one that's just up the road a little ways. It's not too bad. It's, um, I don't know, maybe 100 feet deep or so. It's got a pretty nice fire ring. I'll show you around in the morning. Um, and then the forest, you know, just backs right up to it here. It's, uh, it's cool. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I can see my breath. I'm switching over to my, uh, my house shoes. Um, and Scout's having a little late night snack. And I may put a beanie on it. It is, uh, it's not cold, but it's cool. It's nice. It's definitely feeling the, oh, the fall weather in the air. And, um, we're, uh, we're just going to kick back here for a little bit, listen to the radio. And, uh, kind of unwind. I think tomorrow, driving-wise, is going to be a pretty short day to put us into the North Woods area of Maine. Um, and we're going to get camp set up and scout around a little bit see if we can see any any sign of black bear. Because uh, Maine's supposed to have a gigantic um, black bear population. And the guy I'm meeting up with, I'm not meeting up with until Sunday at noon. So... I'll have from Friday later afternoon tomorrow. Thanks, Scout. Uh, all day Saturday and Sunday morning to kind of scout around, get a plan for some of the rest of my time in Maine. So that's uh, that's the story right now. Get camp set up, and maybe I'll check back in with you a little bit later. If not, I'll check back in with you when uh, Scout and I bed down for the night. All right, I went back and forth here a couple times. I thought about cooking a steak. And I hadn't quite got motivated enough to do that. And then I thought about doing some black beans in the vacuum jar. Decided that wasn't for me. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one. I've got one, I think one of these Patagonia salmon packs left. I'm going to do that, give the, uh, the juice off of it to scout over his kibbles. And then probably wind it down for the night and put on an audio book. But uh, kind of starting to lose steam. It's been a long day driving, pushing from Colonial Virginia up here to uh, Vermont. But I'm really glad to be up here in New England now. This is going to make tomorrow pretty easy. It's going to be like a five hour day to get over to the north woods of Maine and uh, start to explore. So I'm going to do some salmon. I'll check in you one, with you one more time as Scott and I get set up in the shell for the night. And uh, that's going to be our story today. So that's, uh, that's it for now. All right. Scott and I are situated here in the shell. We're going to start to wind down for the night. Maybe throw in an audio book. Maybe sleep in in the morning. And... Uh, you know, we just chill out for a bit in general and uh, hopefully kind of the compilation of things that went on today end up making a decent episode you're such a pampered dog Scott get your water for the night anyway um, so starting tomorrow we gotta be able to get a lot more filming in the forest in the daylight uh, just now that we're up in New England, and uh, so should be good. Transition to kind of a different type of episode rather than a big mad rush to get somewhere across the U.S. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. We uh, we're beat, so we're gonna crash out, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow and uh, make our way from Green Mountains of Vermont over to the north woods of Maine where we're going to be hanging out here for the next couple weeks. May stop at a uh, an archery shop along the way either in Vermont or New Hampshire. Uh, we'll see. So anyway, that's the story. Oh, got a little moth in. All right, see ya.